Volvo S60 of the second generation, 2010-2018 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a second generation Volvo S60 and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the Volvo S60 resists corrosion quite well. But this is true only for external panels, which are in no hurry to become covered with chips and scuffs, but under the bottom the chances of encountering an unpleasant surprise increase many times over. Rust stains can be found on seals and side members. However, if the previous owner initially took care of additional anti-corrosion protection, then you can forget about possible corrosion for a long time. The interior of the Volvo X60 looks relevant even now. It's aging extremely slowly, which is why even cars with huge mileage inside seem almost new. When inspecting a car, you should rather not be guided by the condition of the plastic, but by the presence of extraneous squeaks in the cabin. If there are too many of them, then the salon probably understood and assembled. This usually happens when the vehicle is being recovered from a serious accident. The electrician of the Swedish sedan rarely fails. Only minor troubles can spoil the owner's mood. For example, two delicate door locks that last only 5-7 years. Keyless entry modules serve the same number of times. At one fine moment, they simply cease to recognize the owner of the car. There are also complaints about the rear view mirrors. Over time, the retainer breaks, after which when unfolded, they turn outward. In addition, not the best quality wiring goes to the outside mirrors, which quickly phrase. The weak point in the Volvo S60 is also the air conditioning compressor. On cars made before the 2013 update, it breaks down too quickly. By a run of 40-50 thousand kilometers, the stove motor starts to make a noticeable noise. Of course, it can be lubricated, but for this you will have to disassemble almost all the floating front panel. The operation is not the cheapest. It's no wonder that most owners prefer to drive until the motor fails. Gasoline engines with a volume of 1.5 and 3.0 liters are not found in our secondary market. In most cases, under the hood of the Volvo 60 will be Ford in line 4. Before installing them on the 60, they were seriously forced, after which even a 1.6 liter turbo engine began to develop from 150 to 180 horsepower. The more powerful the version, the greater the risk of experience problems with burnout of pistons and scuffing of the cylinders. Small high power motors are extremely sensitive to dirty oil and overheating. If the variable displacement oil pump suddenly stops delivering the required pressure due to poor oil, the case may end up cranking the landers. Engines with a volume of 2.0 liters, although they are considered the development of Volvo engineers, their roots are also Ford. The option with the minimum forcing is considered the most problem free. Although in any case, these motors are very reliable and under ideal conditions can last up to 400,000 km up to overhaul. Power units with a capacity of over 300 horsepower stand apart. In them, the turbocharger is supplemented with a drive supercharger, but despite the complexity, there are still no questions about this system. The turbo diesel 5 cylinder engine, which the Swiss developed independently, can be considered extremely reliable by modern standards. Its resource before overhaul is 500,000 km. Moreover, the turbine is ready to serve the same 500,000 km. Only the drive of auxiliary units is capable of failing. If its belt breaks, then under the action of centrifugal force, it's able to get under the timing belt, after which, with a very unfavorable coincidence, the timing belt may jump or deform. The consequences, as it's not difficult to guess, in this case will be disastrous. Only in 2015 did the hydraulic tensioner give way to a mechanical tensioner, after which the drive belt began to last longer. Gasoline 5 cylinder engines serve 400,000 km before overhaul. The drive of auxiliary units on them also requires periodic monitoring. In addition, on inline 5's problems are caused by the oil seals of the phase shifter couplings. Through them, the oil goes straight to the timing belt. The letter gradually softens, and then, if the owner didn't notice anything, it may burst altogether. The low pressure fuel pump located in the gas tank turned out to be insufficiently reliable. Practice shows that it doesn't serve for more than 5 7 years. A similar problem is typical for all versions of the Volvo S60, regardless of the engine. Although considered a premium car, the Volvo S60 has manual transmissions available. Regardless of the number of steps, 5 or 6, the mechanics has proven itself excellent. As the mileage increases, you will have to keep an eye on the condition of the seals. Even a partial loss of oil will have an extremely negative effect on the mechanical part of the transmission. With the replacement of the clutch, if it starts to slip or drive, you should not hesitate either. 
The service life of the dual mass flywheel directly depends on it. The letter is not cheap, about 60,000 rubles. The Getrack robotic gearbox with six steps is inferior in reliability to the classic automatic machines, but in general it has proven itself quite well. Due to the fact that both clutches are in an oil bath, the robot is able to serve up to 250,000 km without serious problems. Another thing is that other parts of the transmission are immersed in the same bath. As mileage increases, they suffer more and more from clutch wear products. If the oil is not changed every 50,000 km, the control hydraulics will not be enough for more than 150,000 km. In addition, old oil will significantly reduce the life of the oil pump, shift forks and synchronizers. If it is a copy with a robot that will be considered during the purchase, it's necessary to demand from the seller documentary confirmation of the oil service. The automatic transmission on the Volvo S60 serves at least 300,000 km. You should not be afraid of repairs. There are enough masters who are ready to work with the box and all because it was installed on many other models. Clean oil machine also does not hurt. The replacement interval is 60,000 km. After restyling, an 8-speed automatic was installed on the Volvo S60. There are more steps, but the reliability remains at the same high level. The all-wheel drive system, which can be found on many versions of the 60, implies the presence of the fourth generation Holdex clutch. Its weaknesses have been long for a long time, but given the predominantly urban operation of the sedan, they do not manifest themselves so clearly on the Volvo S60. The Holdex clutch starts to play up to a mileage of 120-150 thousand kilometers. In especially advanced cases, the car can even become monodrive, but this rarely happens. The oil change in the clutch should be carried out at least once every 60,000 km. The same operation in the 5th generation clutch, which began to be installed after the 2013 restyling, is carried out twice as often. This is because in Holdex V, instead of a full-fledged filter, the manufacturer began to use a regular mesh. In general, the AWD system can serve up to 200,000 km without serious problems. The support bearings of the front struts serve 70-80,000 km. The rest of the suspension parts of the Volvo S60 proved to be much more reliable. There are enough cases when the owners had to deal with the bulkhead of the chassis only after a run of 150,000 km. But even in this case, not all consumables will have to be changed. As for the factory fixed ball joints, Volvo Club services have long learned to change them separately from the levers. Steering tips are another example of commendable durability. They will require replacement after a run of 200,000 km. High reliability is an obvious plus of the second generation Volvo S60 sedan. This is especially well understood by those who have already managed to study the weak points of competitors from Germany. With proper care, the Volvo S60 shouldn't be a problem. Not surprisingly, these cars are often not even listed on the secondary market. Volvo S60 owners easily find buyers among their friends, acquaintances or work colleagues. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.